Well, the recent allegations of abuse at an Eated Care Center have lawmakers calling for change. In part two of Your Vote Counts, those on both sides explain what needs to be done and why lawmakers need to step up. And welcome back. There were some allegations this week about the Greer Home and Enid DHS uh, looking into this intake has stopped up there. It's a very complicated story. It's a sad story. Help us understand what's going on. Yeah, so here's what happened. The Greer Home and Enid for the dual developmentally disabled with other uh, disabilities, we have allegations of just heinous activity against those that are most susceptible to that. Uh, really heinous activity against the developmentally disabled. Here's what we need to know. The state of Oklahoma is dropping the ball on taking care of both our developmentally disabled and our mentally ill. And we continue to try to push that off to the counties, to the cities, to someone else. As a state legislator, it is our job. We need to continue to fund those services to the level that we can pay people to take care of our mentally ill and our developmentally disabled. But way to go News 9 and News 6 for covering this story. Okay, as you said, it's a terrible story. Heinous allegations and something needs to be done, as he put it, your thoughts. Yeah, something absolutely needs to be done. And it, from the stories that are out, it sounds like the abuse goes all the way back to the month of May. I mean, we're talking about a while here uh, where there were employees that were abusing disabled adults uh, in this facility uh, in Enid. I know Senator Racino uh, has already spoke out on this, say that we have to get to the bottom of this. Uh, I applaud Senator Racino um, in looking into it, and I know he, uh, being the chair of Health and Human Services in the Senate, will absolutely make sure that he gets to the bottom of this. But you know, these are folks that are in the care of the state, and there's just no reason whatsoever that they should be subjected to this type of abuse. No one should be subjected to it we need to get to the bottom of it and i think we will yeah that's going to have to happen really quick okay because people are going to want to know some answers all right so state report cards on education are out let the spin doctors begin what did the state uh, it, the report cards say and what do you think it means well, before I say that, I know that this is our last show before Thanksgiving, so I just want to tell you all to have a wonderful week and a wonderful Thanksgiving week. I hope that you have a great time with your family and get to spend time with those. I'm making the green bean casserole this year, so it's going to be exciting. Um, on the state report card, look, this is definitely going to be spin out. Our grades are down in reading. Our grades are down in math. I know COVID had a lot to do with this, and it will take years to get back. But what is the most important, and we talk about on the show all the time, is we have got to get away from talking about all the social issues in education and start talking about the education so that we can get these scores up. We're all on the clock on this. This is on all of us right now. Uh, our kids deserve better, and we need to make sure they can read and do math by the time they graduate. The spin dogs run wild. It's a spin out. We're going to remember that one. Your thoughts about the report cards and what you interpret it to mean. Well, I have to say the same thing, though, before I go. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you have a wonderful time. I hope you spend it with family and loved ones. I'm so excited to have my oldest back from college, get to spend some time with him and my other two wonderful children, my beautiful wife, Kristen. But, uh, yeah, I have to say I'm disappointed. R remember, yes, COVID had something to do with this, but it's down compared to last year, compared to the same kids. In the legislature, we now have the highest funding for education in the history of the state of Oklahoma. We are, need to continue that progress. We need to keep doing it. But when we're talking about education, I want us to be talking about how to teach kids to read, write, and do math. That needs to be the, that needs to be the exclusive focus. How do we get to them to that point? How do we support our teachers? And the other thing that's hidden in there, which we need to talk more about on the show, chronic absenteeism. That is not the school's fault. That is parents. One out of every five kids in the state of Oklahoma is chronically absent. You fix that. You go a long way to helping our teachers. Yeah. Come on, Mom and Dad. Let's go. Here. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching and to see this on our platforms at Mitchell Talks and on my socials at Mitchell Talks. Happy Thanksgiving.